Okay, in this video we're going to look at angles and polygons. Um, what a polygon is, a polygon is a shape with straight sides. I've drawn all the, or printed out, all the regular polygons here from three sides up until ten sides. So let's just run through those. A triangle, equilateral triangle, is the regular uh, polygon uh, with three sides. Regular means all the sh angles are the same size and all the sides are the same side. Uh, Quadrilateral, that would be a square, all the angles are the same, sides the same. Regular pentagon, five sides. Regular hexagon, six sides. Regular heptagon, seven sides. Regular octagon, eight sides. Regular nonagon, nine sides. Uh, size, sides. And a regular decagon, ten sides. Uh, the angles add up to in each of these shapes. In a it adds up to 180 degrees. Uh, quadrilateral, 360. Pentagon, 540. Hexagon, 720. Uh, heptagon, 900. An octagon, 1080. Uh, nonagon, uh, 1260. And a decagon, 1440. Now, it's interesting to note that a triangle is 180 degrees. You will have seen that. Um, much further down in your in your math studies or you know, in previous years, uh, a quadrilateral adds up together to give you three hundred and sixty. You should know these two. Now, as you add each side, so as you go from four sides to five sides, you add on another one hundred and eighty. As you go from five sides to six sides, you add on another one hundred and eighty. Uh, six sides to seven sides, another one hundred and eighty. And each time you add a side you add another 180 on. So to find out what the angles would add together to give you an 11-sided shape, you would add 180 on to 1,440. There is another uh, way to work that out, and that's by using the formula, and I'm just going to show you that now. Okay, to find the sum of the interior angles, so what the angles inside the shape, what they add up to, use the formula n take away 2, n is the number of sides, take away 2, and then you times it by 180. So you take two off the number of sides, and then you times it by 180. So for a triangle, it's got three sides. You take away two is one, and then times by 180 is 180. So the angles in a triangle add up to give 180. For, uh, for instance, an octagon, eight sides. Eight take away two is six, and then you do six times 180, which is 1,080. If, for instance, you had a 100-side shape, you do 100 take away two is 98, and times 180, and that will tell you what all the angles inside of the shape would add up to. So this formula is quite useful. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So the question says, find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 20 sides. So remember our formula was n take away 2 times 180. So, get your scientific calculator, and you're going to take 2 off the number of sides, and you're going to times by 180. So you're going to do 20 take away 2, which is 18. Press equals at that point, because remember, this has got brackets around it, so you do, you want to do the sum of two separate steps. You're going to want to take 2 off the, the do 20 take away 2, and then times by 180. Alternatively, you could use the brackets on the calculator. So 20 take away 2 is 18, and then times by 180 gives an answer of... 3,240. So the angles in a 20-sided shape add together to give 3,240. This sum of the interior angles means what do the angles inside the shape add up together to give. Okay, here's another question. It says, a regular polygon has 12 sides. Find the size of each interior angle. So in other words, it wants to know what each one of the angles will add, or what each one of the angles is. So let's find out what they all add up together to give what the sum of the angles are. Is so n take away two times one eighty. So there's twelve sides. So you do twelve take away two is ten times one hundred and eighty, which equals one thousand eight hundred. That means it degrees. So that means that all the angles inside of the shape add together to give 1,800. So we need to find the size of each of the interior angles. Because it's regular, it means all the angles are the same. So all 12 angles are the same. So if you divide 1,800 by 12, you'll find the size of one angle. So get your scientific calculator and do 
1800 divided by 12. When you do that, you get 150 degrees. So it means each of the angles is 150 degrees because you do 1800 divided by 12. Show sure you're working out there to be 150 degrees. Okay, another question. Uh, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 3960 degrees and I want to know how many sides this polygon has. So remember the formula, n take away 2 times 180 is what the angles inside of the shape add up together to give or the sum of the interior angles. Now we know that is 3960, so that equals 3960. So we just need to solve this equation. So we're going to divide by 180, so we're going to divide both sides by 180, so that would give you n minus 2 equals, and then using your scientific calculator you can do 3960 divided by 180 to give 22, so you get 22. Then we need to get rid of the minus 2, so we're going to add 2 to both sides, so you get n equals 24. If you wanted to use it using um, just working backwards, remember we took away 2, then times one uh, times by 180. So if you divide your answer by 180 and then add 2, you'll get your answer. Just working using the inverses. We're now going to look at exterior angles. So as you know, polygons have interior angles inside the shape. They also have exterior angles. And if you carry on the, the sides, and consider the angle uh, bound between that line and the side, the next side. They're what we call exterior angles. Here's a regular pentagon, and it's got five exterior angles. Now, inside of the angles, we know that the interior angles are 108 degrees each, because if you do 540 divided by 5, you get 108. That means that the outside angle is 72 degrees. So, first rule is interior angles. interior angle plus exterior angle will always add together to give you 180 degrees because the interior angle and the exterior angle make a straight line. Uh, next thing to consider is here you can see that this angle is 72 degrees, this angle is 72 degrees, this angle is 72 degrees and so on. So all five exterior angles are 72 degrees. Well, 72 times 5 is 360. That would work for all X L all regular uh, uh, all regular polygons. If you consider an equilateral triangle, the interior angle is 120. The exterior angle, or sorry, the interior angle is 60. The exterior angle would be 120. 320 is 360. So all exterior angles sum of exterior angles for regular or irregular polygons is. 360 degrees. Okay, here we've got a, a section of a regular polygon. Uh, we don't know how many sides it's got because we only can see that it's only that it's got one, two, three sides. You can see that it's marked on an exterior angle. Here's the interior angle, and here's the exterior angle. Um, what we need to do is the question is asked us to work out how many sides the shape has got. Now we know that the sum of the exterior angles, the sum of the outside angles, is 360 degrees. So if we add it together, this exterior angle, the next exterior angle, the next one, and all the exterior angles, they will all add up together to give you 360 degrees. So, if you divide 360 degrees by the size of each exterior angle, which is 20 degrees, you should be able to work out how many exterior angles there's going to be. So if you do 360 divided by 20, you get that there's 18 exterior angles. If there's 18 of these outside angles, that means there's 18 angles, which means that this, this shape has got 18 sides. So that means that this uh, regular polygon has got 18 sides.